What is up, F and True followers? JC Styles here of F and True Wrestling. And this is, you click the title, you want to see what it is. This is also going to be a TNA Impact 127 2011 spoiler review. Uh, you guys wanted it, so I'm giving it to you. You have, uh, this is also going to be that. I'm going to give away the uh, impact results for this Thursday. Also, you have a Ric Flair incident and two more announced, two more entrants to 2011 Royal Rumble. So I'll give that away right now. You have Mason Ryan and Jack Swagger have officially been added to the Royal Rumble match this Sunday on pay per view. Which now brings the Rumble to 28, which I'm kind of confused because uh, when me and Brian did a video Saturday, I thought that there was 25, so I don't know where they get 23 from. Uh, if you guys know that or know this information, let me know. Um, so uh, I'm going to keep you guys hanging on a little bit. Uh Let's see. We have uh, Ric Flair leaves TNA's UK tour after incident. Pretty much, basically, uh, when you sign a contract, you get a lump sum up front. Uh, then, through the course of the contract, you get a little more money and a little more money um, until you know you reach the total amount that you were uh, guaranteed when you sign the contract. Basically, you get a signing bonus, and then you get your your you know your bonus bonus usually halfway through your contract. Uh, basically, the words is that Flair wanted a financial advance, which was rejected by tour management. Uh, as a result, Flair felt disrespected and decided to leave, not boarding the bus that was taking the TNA crew and wrestlers to their flight at the airport to Germany. Anonymous source said Flair threw a fit and he was acting nature boyish. On the tour and got pissed off and threw a tantrum. As, fan, as far as we all know, he's in Dublin still and has he said he wasn't coming and he wasn't in Berlin. Uh, TNA's head publicist, I think that's what it is, uh, said TNA's does not comment on personal matters when asked. So, now we'll give... Uh, TNA Impact taping results, 127, 2011. You have Impact opens up with Kurt Angle cutting a promo in the ring talking about what happened last week with Jeff Jarrett and Karen Jarrett. I guess that's what they're calling her now. He asks the crowd if they would like to see Kurt Angle in one more match. Immortal and Eric Bischoff come out, and Bischoff tells Angle that his request was, turned, was denied. And Bischoff sends Immortal to attack Angle. Little Red makes the save with a baseball bat. Flair cuffs, cu uh, sorry, cuts a promo saying, uh, Red can say they're coming all he wants, but the only thing really happening on February 3rd is the return of Hulk Hogan. Bischoff decides to make it, ang uh, make it Angle and Little Red, now being called Crimson versus All of Immortal. We uh, roll into a knockouts match, which is an elimination match. Mickey James and the Beautiful People defeated Sarita, Madison Rain, and Tara. Angelina Love was the sole survivor. Max Buck defeated the Amazing Red and Chris Sabin in an uh, X Division match. Uh, X Division champ Kazarian was doing commentary. Jeff Hardy, uh, God, we have a Jeff Hardy segment, of course. Jeff Hardy cuts a promo saying he doesn't care about the, the fans of TNA and that he is Mr. TNA. He calls out Ken Anderson and says that in seven days he is going to have his TNA title back. Anderson comes out and says that, Jeff, all you do is you love to bitch and moan, but all that matters are wins and losses, which I hold a win that costs you that, uh cost you your TNA world title. Anderson says that the title is his now and he'll have to wait until after against all odds to get it back. Velvet Sky uh, was caught on camera saying Winner attacked her and rips her apart, calling her a bitch. Numerous times Winner comes out and they get into a fight. Angelina comes, break, tries to break them up, uh, which pisses Velvet off and who storms off. 
we move to a basically, you know, we see um, this segment, uh, this this confrontation between Pope and Joe uh, brewing last week. Basically, said Joe, how would you feel if someone bro was filming you? How would you feel if someone was watching your wife, someone you love, you know, behind your back, and you wouldn't like it now, would you? Um, but Pope comes out, uh, says this is a confessions with the Pope and cuts a promo apologizing to Joe. Then says he doesn't like Joe and Joe is one French fry away from having a heart attack. He says next week he will allow a fan on to confess to the Pope. First off, Pope needs to know how to talk. That's all I got to say about that. Ric Flair cuts a promo backstage, psyching up the immortal main event. TNA champ, Mr. Anderson, pinned Matt Hardy with a roll-up in a great match. Jeff Hardy hit the ring, but RVD hits first and saves makes for the, makes the save. Main event time is Kurt Angle and Crimson versus Immortals, Beer Money, Kaz, Rob Terry, and Gunnar and Murphy, with AJ Styles probably being the manager. Turns into a gang beating, like always, on Angle. At which point, Jeff Jarrett walks out and pins Angle. The lights go out, and when they return, Scott Steiner is in the middle of the ring with a crowbar and immortal bales. So right now, we have one member of Immor uh, the main event mafia returning, Scott Steiner. And sorry about my phone ringing in the background. Uh, so those were the spoilers for TNA Impact this Thursday night. Uh, you know, I've been pitching this for a while that the main event mafia is returning. Uh, you can check out a couple of our last couple of vids of me and Brian together. We, t uh, about TNA, we kind of touch on that subject. Um, it's, it's, again, I'll give you a brief update on that. It's supposed to be, it's, it's said that it's going to be Kurt Angle, uh, now that Scott Steiner's there. Uh, back, he's probably going to be in it. Booker T, they're trying to reach. They're also uh, keeping it hush hush, but we all know Kevin Nash is probably going to come back. Uh, it's stated that uh, AJ Styles is supposed to turn clean and maybe uh, join with the main event mafia. Uh, it's really, really up in the air right now, but. Guys, those are the spoilers for this week. You got some news updates. I wish I had more news for you. Uh, also, uh, uh, Dana White and Mick, Vince Mc, uh, Mr. McMahon, Vince, Mc, Vince McMahon, I'll just call him Vince McMahon, whatever. He ain't never going to see this video. Vince McMahon uh, met up and basically had a discussion about uh, Brock Lesnar possibly teaming and going to uh, having Brock Lesnar wrestle at WrestleMania this year. Uh, they never really uh, reached a settlement on the thing that was kind of left up in the air. It's not 100% guaranteed what's going to happen, but uh, it's looking like it's really going to be slim to none that he is not going to be at WrestleMania this year. We'll probably have to wind up settling for Rory Nelson, I believe, that they're trying to also maybe get him to come over and do something at WrestleMania. I hope not. Um, they haven't announced any new Hall of Fame inductees. Uh, Sunny uh, turned out that she is not going to be uh, inducted, but she will be there to su uh, support some of her friends. And pretty much that's about it, guys. Wish I had more for you. JC Styles, Scott Steiner returns. Uh, main event Mafia looks like it's going to be returning with some good uh, as the main event Mafia as old. So let's see what happens. I'm kind of curious to see how this all plans out because you know with spoilers they don't really give you too much uh, information on like move for move or stuff like that. So I'm kind of curious to see how the match turn how all the matches turn out. So, guys, uh, JC Styles, and I am out.